Hi, I'm Brian, and this is Here's How from Guitar Center. Today, we're going to talk about how you use the chromatic bebop exercise. And what's so great about this exercise is it combines two things. It combines arpeggios, which are great in terms of outlining the chords. In addition to that, it uses chromaticism. What's great about chromaticism is it's another way of approaching and getting away from the scales that we're so tied into. So the two scales that most people are most familiar with are a combination of the major scale and the minor pentatonic scale. So if I was playing a C dominant type of progression, one thing you'd hear a lot is something like this. And that sounds great, but something interesting we can do with this too is start to introduce some chromaticism. And that would sound a little bit like this. So for these types of lines, I want to show you guys a great scale that's going to really open up your understanding of the entire neck. Here it is at full speed. Let me play it slowly and break it down so you can get a better feel for how it feels. And that's one octave of it. You can go up the octave too. So the best way to get the most bang for the buck with this exercise is to go into the circle of fourths. So what I like to do is I started in C right there. So from C, I'd go into F, and this is how it sounds in F. And then from F, you go to B flat, from B flat to E flat, from E flat to A flat, and so on and so forth until you get through the circle of fourths, you make your way back to C. So you're gonna see if you do this exercise for a couple of months, circling through the, all the different scales and the different keys, you're gonna find yourself having a much greater understanding of the neck. And that's how you use the chromatic bebop exercise in your playing. If you want to check out any more Here's How videos, check out the Guitar Center YouTube channel or guitarcenter.com.